Welcome back to Math We Know. Solve this equation. A to the power of 6, then plus A to the power of 4, is equal to 80. It is a little horrible, isn't it? The largest exponent is 6, so this is a sextic equation. And by observation, we can find out easily that 6 and 4 are both even numbers. And the greatest common factor of 6 and 4 is 2. So our first step is to write the 6 as 2 times 3 and 4 as 2 times 2. So first, a to the power of 6, it is a to the power of 6 is 2 times 3. And then plus a to the power of 4, this 4 is 2 times 2. So it is a to the power of 2 times 2 is equal to 80. a to the power of 2 times 3, a to the power of 2 times 2. Now we have to use this formula. That is, x to the power of m and then all to the power of n is equal to x to the power of m times n. And it's also equal to x to the power of n and then all to the power of m. So now, we should use x to the power of m then times n is equal to x to the power of m and then all to the power of n. In this term, a to the power of 2 times 3, a is x, 2 is m, and 3 is n. So it is equal to a to the power of 2 first with bracket and then all to the power of 3. So our first step is really, really important. Then our second step should be a to the power of 2, all to the power of 3, by using this formula. Substitute it in, and then you can get this a to the power of 2 times 2, it is a squared, and then all to the power of 2. So now, a to the power of 2, all to the power of 3, and a to the power of 2, all squared, they have the same base, that is, a to the power of 2. So now, what should we do? Usually, what should we do if we meet two same terms? Of course, we should substitute. Substitution is the best way for solving this equation further. So now, how should we substitute? Of course, we should substitute a squared as t. Substitute, or let, a squared is T. This equation becomes an equation about t. t cubed then plus t squared is equal to 80. If you want to solve the real roots of this equation, then t should be non-negative. This number 80 is not large. By inspection or by observation, we can find out that 80 is equal to 4 cubed, then plus 4 squared. That means t is equal to 4 is a solution of this equation. Now I have to move it to the left hand side. t cubed then plus t squared minus 80 is 0. This 80 is equal to 4 cubed then plus 4 squared. Since t is equal to 4, is a root of this equation. So this 80 is 4 cubed then plus 4 squared. I have to write it as minus 4 cubed plus 4 squared. What is the really important thing? The most important thing is, don't forget the bracket. Next, t cubed minus 4 cubed. Later, we can use the formula a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b and then times 
a squared then plus a b then plus b squared plus t squared minus 4 squared here minus but in the bracket here's plus so minus bracket plus is equal to minus and this part of the term it can be factorized later too yes now factorize t cubed the minus 4 cubed is t minus 4 and then times t squared plus is 4t not 40 then plus 4 squared is 16 and then plus t minus 4 or we should write t plus 4 first and then times t minus 4 is equal to 0. We can factorize it definitely. Here appears t minus 4 and here as well. And then take it out t minus 4 and then times t squared it is plus 5t it is plus 20 is 0. Something and times something is equal to 0. Then we have two cases. The first case when t minus 4 is equal to 0 then t is equal to 4. When t is equal to 4 then a is equal to 2? No, 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 no. Minus 2 squared is also 4. So A has two solutions from the first case. So A under this case is equal to positive or negative 2. First case, we're done. And the second case is a little bit complicated. T squared plus 5t then plus 20 is equal to 0. For the second case, because the delta is smaller than 0, it is b squared minus 4ac. It's smaller than 0. So now, there aren't any real roots. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And until next time, bye bye.